NASA says its OSIRIS-REx space probe has successfully touched down briefly on the asteroid Bennu. Scientists have com compared the manoeuvre to trying to park a remote-controlled car 300 million kilometres away on an asteroid the size of the Empire State Building. Well, the probe has been uh, seven years in the planning at a cost of just over a billion dollars. Paul Hawkins reports. Joy at NASA. The OSIRIS-REx probe lands on the Bennu asteroid. Touchdown declared. Then just seconds later... Sample collection is complete and the back away burn has executed. It might well have the biggest haul of extraterrestrial rock since the moon landings 50 years ago. I can tell you that everything went <sighs> just exactly perfect, uh, which is kind of the hallmark of this team. Uh, we have consistently beaten expectations over and over again. We have overcome the amazing challenges that this asteroid has thrown at us and the spacecraft appears to have operated flawlessly. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. This mission is an incredible achievement because Bennu, spinning through space 330 million kilometers from Earth, is bigger than the Empire State Building. And even though the probe arrived there in 2018, it's taken two years to find a suitable landing site because scientists thought the surface would be sandy. Instead, it was rocky. But eventually, they did identify a site called Nightingale, about eight metres wide. Now the probe has successfully landed, avoiding contact with surrounding rocks, gathered its sample and lifted off, bound for Earth. On board, a sample of rocks and dust, which should tell us something about the chemistry of the planets and the sun when they formed 4.5 billion years ago. The only question now is, how much did the probe gather? But it won't be until September 2023 when it returns to Earth. Paul Hawkins, BBC News.